Today I'm going to talk to you about my non-vax pneumatics. Now, I basically got the microcontroller hooked up to this white box. Inside this box is a motor controller, a relay, and 16 AA batteries, which will provide 24 volts DC. Then in, when you switch the motor port on, it will turn the relay on, which will apply power to the solenoid valve. When the power is applied, air will switch from flowing through this hose to this hose, which will extend the cylinder. Now, over here, I basically got some piping, pressure gauge, a drain valve right here, regulator, tank, and a quick disconnect. <coughs> now, all these parts uh, totaled me about, I'd say, 100 to 150 dollars. I wasn't really keeping track, but I can tell you that the most expensive part was this right here. This valve was 50, but I did buy a lot of extra unneeded parts, such as the drain valve and uh, the pressure gauge, but you really need the regulator, the tank, valve, and the cylinder. So that's basically that. And as for this, the only reason this box is huge is because I use AA batteries, but there is a company on the internet that sells 12 volt AA batteries, so you could have two AA batteries provided to 24 volts. They won't last as long for as many cycles, but it'll be more compact. Now, I've got multiple ways to fill this. I've got this, which is um, basically a bicycle pump adapter. You can plug it right in, and you can attach a standard bike pump. And it'll plug in right here. It's a quick disconnect, but I've got air running through this hose, so I'm not going to unplug that. Now, I'm going to show you how it works. Now, programmed into this controller is, is, well, basically, I've got a program on the controller which allows me to control the cylinder forward, retract it. <clears throat> now, that's a, the uh, program I have running for channel 5 in the controller. So if you push up, it will extend the cylinder. If you push down, it will retract the cylinder. Channel 6 has a different mode. It's a fully automatic mode that will cycle the cylinder 150 milliseconds to go forward and then it will give it 150 milliseconds to retract. And it'll keep repeating that cycle, like so. Now, I have programmed into channel 3 on the controller a program that allows me to change the timing cycle for channel 6, like this. program works good but it does have a drawback when you go below zero on the timing cycle the program freezes I'm not exactly sure why but it would take me a little time to fix so that's basically my non vex pneumatics but you gotta keep in mind that this system is huge I mean this is not gonna fit on a normal square bot so I basically provided you with the groundwork to build your own system but if you wanna build your own you're gonna have to customize it to your needs. I would go ahead and get rid of the, the whole pressure gauge thing, get a smaller tank. I found a place that sells miniature plastic tanks, but this is a steel tank made to hold like liquid CO2 at 850 psi, which you don't need that. So you can get a simple plastic tank. This regulator, um, it was a little bit expensive because I got it at Home Depot, but I found them on the internet for about 75% less. So, I want to think about that. And you could basically attach the regulator directly to the tank and have a smaller solenoid valve. You don't really need the large uh, valve, but I went with the large because with the large valve, you get the highest airflow. I think I can get 13 cubic feet of air per minute through this valve. Now, smaller valves get, obviously, they get less flow and with the large valve you can always just get a quarter inch to eighth of an inch or reducer or whatever you need to use your cylinder 
but with the large valve, you get the highest airflow, meaning that you can change from a small cylinder to a huge cylinder. Now, basically that. The cylinder, um, I, can got, I got it off the internet. It's, I paid $6 for this particular one. It's about 7 inches long, 3 quarter inch in diameter, and it's got a 4 inch long stroke out. And that's very cheap, but they do have many other cylinders. For, they've got, I think they've got like 50 or 60 that you can buy, and they're all very cheap. They're between 3 to $7 at surplusscenter.com.